All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it, man. Hey, this is a, a double up. People call it a double up low. I call it a two for one, whatever y'all want to call it, man. Look, I just call it consistently putting forth content. And a lot of people have been asking me this. They've been like, Jay, we want to know what badges you use on defense because you know my defense is kind of top notch it's all good man listen man these are the best badges for a lockdown defender i'm just gonna be real with you um my guy that i have i've got a uh i got a two-way so i have a uh, a three and d guard and these are my badges the badges that i use are as follows and i'm gonna explain the badges i'm gonna show you some gameplay we're gonna do all that good stuff and we're gonna go right through it man look chase down artist I use Chase Down, the, the two badges that are the most obscure badges that nobody knows about, nobody even really thinks that you might need or or any of that stuff right there. Chase Down Artist and Rim Protector. Regard, I feel like regardless of what, um, I really feel like regardless of what build you have, if you can dedicate something of one point to these badges, then you're good because look, what Chase Down Artist does is it literally unlocks Chase Down blocks. You can't, you you may be able, you might in once in a blue moon get a Chase Down block if you don't have Chase Down Artist on. But if you have Chase Down Artist on, it literally unlocks your ability to chase down, uh, to chase people down and block them from behind. And uh, that comes in handy when you're going against somebody like an offensive threat and you know you have to play them up close and you know you can't back up off of them, you know you can't do any of that stuff, but then they go by you. If you can turn around quick enough when they go by you, then you can get you can get around and you're gonna chase that block down nine times out of 10. Even if you did it just one or two times out of 10, that's a possession, an extra possession for your team and you're good to go. And that and that badge works beautifully in tandem with rim protector. When, you, when they pop, they pop together. The reason that I like rim protector is because when you are in between the person and the basket, you may not block the shot, but sometimes because a lot of people have interior de interior defense being so low, you don't even get a, a, a contest on the shot or it's like 20% or something. You got rim protector on, you're either going to block the shot, you're going to hang that shot, or, or you're just going to make a miss. So these are two badges that I feel like are, are must. If you have, if you are able to, to put, you know, stuff toward them. Uh, my next badge, clamps. I have clamps on Hall of Fame for obvious reasons. You can actually get away with clamps on gold. Hall of Fame is just OD. You really don't need it. I just couldn't find anywhere else that I really need to put it. They need to put it on Heart Crusher. I thought we were going to need Heart Crusher because I thought that that this year, TakeOver was going to be like it was last year, but it's not, so you don't even need it. Intimidator. I got Purple Intimidator on because I'm trash. That's why I got it on, man. I got purple intimidate on because I'm garbage, and I want. I'm, I'm, I'm one of those dudes. I want every single time I'm close to you, I want that joint to go to zero. I want your your chances of hitting the shot to go to zero. So I got that on there. Pick dodge on purple for obvious reasons. I have off ball pest on. Off ball pest is one of those badges where you actually use off ball pest to unlock. You can interact with the player that doesn't have the ball and hold them up and press them and push them and do all of that stuff if they don't have the ball, if you don't have off ball pest. But some of the animations that you'll get, you won't get them unless you have off ball pest. You really need off ball pest if you wanna bother people, especially if you guard in the corner or something like that, or if you go on the wing or, or what have you, where people come try to do backdoor cussing, pro and stuff, off ball pest. You can get away with it on Bronze, the reason I put it on silver is because some people don't read the tool tip. It says makes players more difficult to get past when playing off ball as they can grab and hold that matchup and don't get their ankles broken as often. So that's why sometimes when you see me defending people and they keep doing the heads behind the back, heads behind the back, I don't I don't get frozen. I hardly ever get frozen because I have off ball piss. So that really doesn't happen. Lightning reflexes. I threw that in there, man, just because I feel like, I'll tell you why. Because I don't have on Interceptor. And because I don't have on Interceptor, I don't plan on putting Interceptor or Pick the Pocket back on ever again. A lot of people that got locks, if you got more badges, you 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 will probably put them there. I don't put anything on Interceptor nor Pick Pocket just because I wanted to do Tireless Defender. And I'm gonna tell you why, we're gonna go through all of that. But like I said, I put one in Lightning Reflexes just because 
not because of the cue. I just feel like my guy plays defense and sticks to the guy better with lightning reflexes on. But I don't think there's any point in putting it past silver. So you can put it on silver. I got it on this. Tyler's defender, I want to know. I want to be able to outlast you on defense, plain and simple. So I know if I get tired on defense, the guy that's dribbling against me has to be dog tired. He really has no chance of hitting the shot unless he got tired of the shooter. And that, that badge really don't work unless you tie Sino in this game. And it says, allow the defender to play defense more aggressively without losing energy at the same rate as a normal player. I want, so I know when I'm tired, I'm like, I'm tired. So I know he has to be tired because I got tired of the uh, defender wrong. I had it on Hall of Fame. It really didn't do much on Hall of Fame. So I just took it down one. Now, I will tell you, some people might want to do this. I'm not going to lie to you. You will get more pickpockets if you do this. Like, this is probably one of the best ways to do your badges, I feel like. Uh, but me, I play on the ball a lot. So playing on the ball, I really, I rarely go for interceptions. But when I do go for interceptions, you don't need interceptor in this game. And if you, if you, um... If you hold left, if you get between your guy and the ball, the person that's throwing the ball, hold left trigger, and then you press square at the right time, you don't need interceptor, bro. You don't need it. It's, it's something, it's one of those things that, that I think people just uh people just use it just to use it. And uh pickpocket, pickpocket, I will tell you this. If you are playing against a big man and he's dribbling the basketball, I would def and, and you're not getting steals. That's why, because you need pickpocket. Pickpocket will give you steals, but you can get a lot of bump steals. Once you learn the animation, the reason I don't have those two on is because once you learn the game, once you learn the bump animations, once you learn all this stuff, you do not need those badges. Yes, you might get more steals and things if you got them on, but if you're a lockdown defender and you know you play lockdown defender, you know that you can't even press square in this game on ball. You just got to sit there and play defense and hit it at the perfect time, or you got to bump the guy or what have you. They didn't give us the dotted line and the broken line like they're supposed to. Like they said, they were going to give us uh, for defenders in this game, like like you're supposed to have when you got uh, uh, lightning reflexes on. So I just put it on one just so I can move a little bit better. But like I said, you don't got to worry about that. But look, though, if you don't, and if you got those badges, it's good. But if you don't have those badges, quick segue. Y'all see what we listening to, man. If you don't got those badges, holla at your boy, man. Me and my man Ground Hard, we got, we got a team of badge grinders, and we are grinding badges, and we doing this thing for y'all, man. I got a couple of customers already in the queue. Uh, the prices are... It's probably going to be the cheapest ones out there, but you know that my face is on it and my man's face is on it. So y'all already know, um, y'all know it's going to be the most reliable and quickest badge grinding service that you can get. And now on to the gameplay, man. I want to, I want to kind of just try to talk y'all through some of this gameplay, man, because I really feel like that my guy is the best off ball bill in the game. And the reason that y'all saw me smoke that layup and look, I'm blinking. I, this, I, this was a game I was trying to try, try, um, try cross key score on, and it really didn't work. But I really just wanted to show y'all. Look, my defensive prowess and just the way that I impact the game from a defensive standpoint. Look over here. Look, look. I'm trying to let him move, and I'm just. I know where he wants to go. I'm just trying to cut him off. But really, the things that I want to do in these games, that uh, the guy that I'm on is a three level score, and like I said. The way that I'm going to play him, I'm going to just straight up deny him the ball. Trades up! Green Bean Money Team! Splash down! I want to straight deny him the ball, and when he tries to dribble the ball, I want to do things to just completely disrupt him. Um, if y'all want to see all my, 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 my offensive badges, y'all let me know. Y'all saw that right there when I bumped him? You can't really get that if you don't have on um, off-ball pests. They, they just won't give it to you. And, and the best thing about it, Trades up! Splash that break down! Okay, the best thing about me being a lockdown defender is people think I'm a lock so they look at me they see that I got Hall of Fame clamps they see that I have the lock beside my name and so they're like yeah this dude ain't gonna shoot and by the time I get two, by that time I get two or three shots in on him and I'm good see right there clamps pop he couldn't go nowhere I was gonna push him straight to man man you see I pushed him under the rim right there all of that's because of off ball pests but the reason like I said I got on off ball pests excuse me while I whipped this out they hold they wouldn't let me bro I don't know oh yeah that's right I had a bad controller at this point in the game. Um, my controller was stuck, so I had the little drift stick on it, and um, and that was an illegal screen. Let me show y'all something right here, man, because y'all well, y'all wanted to argue me to death about these illegal screens. Bro, that's an illegal screen, okay? Look, he turned. He's still moving. 
Bro, he's still moving when he bumped, and that's an illegal screen, bro. I see that all the time, and I see a lot of, I do see a lot of illegal screens where the guys are already set, but I see a lot more where you're still moving. Y'all gonna lose that argument with me, man. I'm just saying because I'm a guard that dodges the screens, and I know. Anyway, still riding, and look at that. He can't, look at that, right now. Give me the steal. Y'all see that I don't, did pickpocket pop? Did y'all see pickpocket pop? No. No, pickpocket did not pop because I don't have it on. But what did pop? Look at that, off ball piss. He can't do nothing. He can't do nothing because I'm running down the court. I'm riding along with him. I'm in front of him. Boom. Reach at the perfect time. You don't poke the ball free. You do not need pickpocket in this game. Right! You don't need pickpocket in this game. You can really play this game, not have pickpocket, and just hoop like hoop like a normal person. Look at that. Still got clamps. I knew he was going to go for that right there. I'm trying. Bro, right there my center got confused. I, I'm like, I'm like, look, hey, I'm gonna push him to you. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get your guy, but then, you know, he didn't react to either one, so I just said whatever. Fortunately, his guy's trash, or maybe we knew he couldn't shoot. Give me this board. Maybe we knew he couldn't shoot, and we just said whatever it is. But like I said, you know, you don't need a lot of the badges. Quick first step, rack. Look at that. You don't see no contact finish on that slide. This is why this is the best off ball build in the game. You can guard the ball. You can slap the floor like the Dukies. He's a high flyer. He's a diaper dandy, baby. Look at this right here. I'm back and forth on the court. He shoots a green and man, man face. Intimidator didn't pop. So maybe he just didn't get there in time. The whole point of what I'm saying is though, this, this, this guy can defend. I can come off screens. I can shoot the, the cover off the ball. Trey ball, money gram. I can shoot the cover off the ball and I can defend the best person on the other team. That's, that's what I made this guy for. Somebody was like, this guy, look at that, man, 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 man with a steal. Somebody was like, this build is bad. I'm like, bro, this build trades up. Splash time. This build is not bad. You must not like playing defense or don't know what you're doing if you think this build is bad because this build is probably one of the dopest builds in the game. I got over 90 speed once I got everything up. I can, I got an 80 overall. I got an over 80 dunk. My dunk, my um driving dunk. My tray ball, money gram. That's over 80. It's probably like an 84, 85, and I'm a lot, 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 lot. I'm a lot, so I can do whatever I want to. Look, people not even gonna try to do that. Look at the defense. Look at the defense. When you get in takeover, they're like, bro, he's a lot. Give me this board. They're like, bro, he's a lot. How is he doing this? Don't worry about how I'm doing it. Worry about why you're not doing it. Look at this. Trey ball. Trey's up. Splash down. Give him 19 of them things on his head. Y'all, bro, bro, what other lock out here doing this, man? Give it, look. Y'all saw the shots that I missed. The ones that I missed, I went to the rim when I shouldn't have, and I did the other thing. But look, the defensive badges, I didn't get a chance to show y'all chase down artists, but you definitely need that. Um, I didn't get a chance to show you the chase down artists. You definitely need that. I'm gonna show you the badges one more time, and we're gonna get to it. You definitely need the chase down artists. Um, let me see. You definitely need to holler at us about these badges. We'll give y'all prices. DM for prices. Hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. Or hit up Man Man Grindhard. Same thing. Anyway, look. You definitely need Chase Down Artists just to unlock the Chase Down Artists content. You definitely need Off Ball Pest, I feel like, just to unlock the Off Ball Interaction content. You need Rim Protector just to unlock the ability to stop people in the paint. And then after that, bro, it's really up to you. I did it like this because... I have learned to play the game without these two. I, I, I just learned how to play it without these two right here. I don't need it. And then I got a new controller. If y'all want to see me show y'all, you know, the new controller, do something on that, let me know. Uh, like the video. If you like the video, subscribe for more Data 2K content. But the reason I, that I was saying about that the other time, he threw the ball to me in the corner. My, my, my controller had drift stick, so I was moving. And a lot of times I'm missing shots right now because I'm moving when I'm not wanting to move but now i got a new controller i got a scuff controller a real scuff controller man this joint costs a, a buck 50 and then i put the little 20 dollars insurance on it called me a buck 80 today but look i realized that buying cheap stuff you're gonna end up spending more money anyway because when i bought all that cheap stuff i spent i look let me show y'all real quick man i spent i spent 60 dollars on this controller 60 dollars on this controller it stopped working in a month 30 dollars on this controller it stopped working in a month and then uh, it, it wasn't even a month. And then I got another controller. I got another one. I got another one just like like this one that I spent another $30 on. So that's almost $200 on controllers right there. That's a buck 80 right now. That's a buck 80 right now. So I should have, I, uh, granted, I didn't have all that at the same time like I did today. But look, I should have just bought this in the beginning. So same thing, 
Big segue to the badge grinding service. Don't do it to where you got to do it over again. Just come to us, holler at us. We're going to give you a good fair price. We're going to grind those badges for you. You're going to have your player back two or three days, something like that. Anyway, these are the badges that you need if you want to play lockdown defense. Learn how to play without pickpocket and interceptor, and your guy will go to the next level. I promise you, you don't need those two badges. Just bump steal, play position, let the person make mistakes. Anyway, I got to get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content, and I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Got speed. I know y'all like that Don trip. I'm gonna try to do more for the intros and stuff like that, but I ain't have a chance to do that today, man. And I'm out. Peace.